Hello everyone, in this video I'm going to show you how to create doors that can be triggered to open when the player is within the door's proximity and then they can be closed when the player leaves the proximity of the door. In this video I'm going to create a simple sliding door and in the next video I will show you how to create a two-way door which opens both towards the front and the back depending on the direction the player is coming from. So let's get started with the tutorial. I have a very simple scene with a player capsule on which I have attached a first person script and apart from the player I have two doors, a mechanical sliding door and a rotating wooden door. If I play the scene I can move around with my first person script and I can go near the doors which for now do not open if the player is in proximity. If we look at the hierarchy of the mechanical door we can see that we have a root object inside of which we have the different components of the mechanical door which include the left and right door panels and the left and right sliding doors. Let's start by animating the sliding mechanical door. Select the root object of the door and then open up the animations panel. The animations panel can be found under windows, animation and then click on animation. In the animations panel, click on create to start creating a door open animation. I will name this animation sci-fi door open. Next click on the red button in the animations panel to start recording. And now we can move the door panels to create an animation. Take the animation to the 1 second mark. And here at 1 second adjust the positions of the right and the left panel so that the door is now open. And our door open animation is now ready. We can preview it by clicking on the play button in the animations panel. Next we need to create an animation for the door close. Click on the create new clip. Name the animation as required. And again click on the right button to record the animation. This time at the 0 second mark the door will be in the open state. And at the 1 second mark adjust the door so that it is in the closed state. And this is what our door close animation will look like. And finally we need one more animation for the default state of the door at the start of the game. Create a new animation clip which I will call sci-fi door start animation. This is just going to be an empty animation with the door in the closed state for the start of the game. Now if we go to the root object of the door we should be able to see an animator attached to it. Double click this animator to open it up. And here in the animator we can see the three animations we just created. Right click on the door start animation and set it as the default state. Next we want to create a boolean variable in the animator's parameter tab. We will call this boolean door open. We will later change the value of this boolean from our script and when this boolean is set to true we will play the door open animation and when it is set to false we will play the door close animation. Right click on the start animation and make a transition from the start animation to the door open animation. In the condition of this transition set the condition that the door open boolean is true. Next make a transition from door open to door close state and in the conditions of this transition set the condition that the door open boolean is false. And similarly create a transition from door close back to door open with the condition that door open boolean is true. Next you want to make sure that inside the conditions of all these transitions you uncheck the has exact time checkbox. Disabling this checkbox allows us to transition from one animation to another even when the previous animation is not finished. Once we have the animator ready the next thing we need is a box collider on the door. This box collider will help us detect if the player is within the range of the door. Add the box collider component to the door and then position and resize it as required. Check the S trigger checkbox of the box collider and after that add a rigid body to the door. In the rigid body Disable use gravity, 
and enable all the freeze positions and rotations. And finally, we can create the script to open and close the door. We will call this script the sliding door trigger. Open up this new script and start by creating all the required variables. We will need a reference variable for the animator we just created. Create a string variable for the player tag and also create a string variable in which we will pass the name of the animator boolean variable. Here we can just remove the start and the update functions. And now we will create the onTriggerEnter function of the door which will detect if the player collider is inside the box collider we just created on the door. Once we successfully detect the player inside the door trigger, we will set the door open boolean of the animator to true. Similarly, we need the on trigger exit function, which will check if the player has left the door's proximity. And in the on trigger exit function, we will set the door open boolean of the animator to false. This will start the door close animation. Back to Unity, let's assign the references to the script. Assign the reference of the door animator. Change the player tag to match the tag on the player object. Make sure that the tag on the player object is the same as that on the script. You can change the tag on the player object by selecting it and then in the tag dropdown, select the required tag. Next, assign the name of the open close boolean of the animator. In my case, I named the animator boolean door open. And now if we run the project, we can see that the door open and door close animations play. However, the open and close animations are looping. To fix this, we need to turn off loop in all of our animations. Select the animations in the hierarchy and uncheck the loop time checkbox. And again, run the project. And there we go. Our sliding door is now working perfectly. And that's it for creating a simple door that opens when the player approaches it and automatically closes when the player leaves the proximity of the door. In the next video, we will see how we can make a two-way door which opens based on the side the player is approaching the door from. If you found this video helpful, make sure to like and subscribe for more useful Unity tutorials.